Today is the day. Okay, so finally, Cupid Crew Day is here. And I am dressed in red and all ready to head over to the first delivery point and we do a little orientation first. Come with me. Okay, I am in the car with Jared. Hello! <laughs> I'm going to kind of look at the camera and drive yes. at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> we're so we can finish this video. I know, we're relying on Google to get us to the next place. It is called Park Hill. Okay, we're all ready. We've got roses ready to deliver. We've got our orientation. We've got our shirts. I think I know what I'm doing. I'm pretty sure it's just easy. Just ask questions. How was it? How was your first so delivery? so great. I'm excited for our next stop. Keep its crews awesome. Okay, I am here with Dennis, the director of the Denver Hospice uh, Center, and they partner with Wish of a Lifetime, Wish of a Lifetime this time of year to do Cupid Cruise. So, and it's an extremely powerful, impactful moment uh, to watch eyes light up and smiles increase uh, <laughs> by these seniors and uh, movement. Whether you're delivering one rose or a thousand. It's about assuring an older adult that they matter, that you care about what happens to them, and, and you're appreciative of their life and their impact on society. Okay, so I have a really special story. Oh, nice. I have Kelly here who has a personal experience with Wish of a Lifetime. Can you tell me a little bit about um, the wish that was granted to your mother-in-law? Yeah, my mother-in-law um, worked in Boulder, uh, Colorado, for a long time, and, and we would drive into Boulder. And at the one time when we were driving, she said, how did everything's going up? And she said, I've always wanted to go up the top. It's the one thing that she talked about all the time. Her beautiful ride. So I think that's so awesome. It's with a beautiful memory. And that's what this is all about. And then you're volunteering here today to kind of just kind of complete the circle. Okay, here's the Keepa crew at stop number two. Are we excited? Yay! Going in. Pretty cool um, coincidence here. Um, I'm delivering flowers. I'm gonna get down here. This is Hutch, um, and I just delivered a flower to him. He begrudgingly took it. He didn't really want it, <laughs> but I told him he couldn't refuse me in his room. See that cowboy hat and all of his cowboy stuff. There's a bronco. There's rodeo stuff. So Hutch is clearly a cowboy. Well, and, I, grew, I grew up on a ranch in Montana. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty good. Yeah, You're I a was raised up there, yeah. Awesome. So, so yeah. I just told Hutch that I went to the Cowboy Poetry Festival in Elko, and immediately you asked if I knew... Waddy Mitchell. Waddy Mitchell. Here's the crazy part. I did meet Waddy Mitchell, <laughs> and I met his son, Chaz Mitchell. Um, Hutch here, what do you do? You make cowboy boots? For 60 years. Cool. 60 and years. Taught people for about that amount of time, too. Wow. Here's one of my students. Wow. This is in the AAA magazine. Check these out. Oh, my God, Hutch, these are so cool. <laughs> okay, here we have another one. Hold on. You don't wake up surrounded by Wow. Fans. Okay, conversation. You know what I heard more than anything? I heard it from three seniors. You made my day. Oh, you made my that's what it's about. Yay, Cupid Crew. Thank you. Thank you, Wish of a Lifetime, and thank you. My Cupid Crew is all wrapped up today. I even got a rose. So roses were given, stories were told. I listened. I made new friends. It was really awesome to be a part of something so meaningful today on Valentine's Day.